One of the best use cases of Repl8 agent is to use it to create lead magnets. Lead magnets could be extremely helpful if you're running a SaaS. It could help you in collecting more leads. It could also help you in ranking up on Google search because it's going to bring in a lot of traffic from high domain authority websites. So in this video, I want to explore how fast can we create a lead magnet from a Repl8 agent from idea to finally deployment. I want to create a very simple website in which uh, people can come and then give an emoticon. Emoticon would be explained, like what is the emoticon? It's kind of an emoticon dictionary, okay? So I'm gonna just go ahead and then say, I want to create a simple emoticon dictionary uh, where someone can enter an emoticon and it will describe in English what it is and when it has to do. This has to be a nice minimalistic web app. So let's start building, continue. Uh, we have given the requirement here. So there are some typos in it. So it's going to start building it for the first time and uh, it's naming it emoti-dict. Uh, I want to create a simple emoticon dictionary where someone can enter an emoticon and um, yeah, so basically, if you're like me, if you don't understand emoticons a lot, then all you have to do is build this app. And the idea here, just like I said, is like we want to use it like a lead magnet or a mini tool within the website. It's giving us a bunch of ideas like do you want to implement a database for storing emoticon data, um, moderation, create tags for emoticon, implement a random emoticon. Okay, so I like the implement a random emoticon feature because if people come and they don't know what to do, they can do it. So I've approved the plan. And then we are getting started with this and uh, it's going to use Flask and Vanilla.js um, as we know that Replit is obsessed with Flask and it is going to use Flask as a server and create a Vanilla.js and then it is going to run. It is also going to, because I said a minimalistic interface, it is going to use a minimalistic interface and it started creating. So it is creating the emoticon dictionary. Um, I could have tried to have an emoticon dictionary as a Postgres database and then retrieve it. Uh, maybe that is for some other day, but it has created the emoticons.json file. So one thing I can do is I can go ahead and then say emoticon.json is not uh, large enough, uh, but let's go ahead with this for now. Uh, and it is also easier for us to go check. Uh, one thing that bothers me at this point is the emoticons are like string. So I'm not sure what will happen if I actually give uh, like an emoticon, emoticon. Um, Let's go, I'm going to just use this and um, place it. Emoticon not fun. I tried this, it says not found. I guess it could be due to the lack of emoticons. If there is any free API for emoticons, feel free to use it. Also make a nice um, card interface, shining um, and beautiful. Current one looks disgusting. And there is no random option that we discussed during the roadmap. Okay, so I have a uh, I've given my concerns, um, just I tried this. It's not found, it could be due to lack of emoticons. The main thing that, you know, honestly speaking, from the way it has done is, I think it doesn't have a lot of uh, emoticons um, in the information. So there is emoticon.json, where is emoticon? Okay, we've got emoticons.json. It's, it, okay, this is random emoticon. Okay, when I say random emoticon, it says pleading face, expressing begging, pleading, or tra trying to look cute. Emoticon smile. This is a smiling emoticon. I think still it is not an exhaustive list, but let's do. Okay, smiling face with smiling eyes, expressing genuine happiness, and then click random. Surprise face, loud crying face, annoyed face, smiling face with hearts. This is interesting. So what I want to do now is I want to say um, that the current look doesn't look great. And um, let's do this. Um, I want to create an option 
where the user can um, user can enter their name and then uh, you take the name and then and then give an emoticon that can represent some proxy of their name and I want the output to be a beautiful um, card view um, use a tailwind or some CSS library for inspiration and let's go okay so we're trying to make improvements it made what we wanted so it's fun to see that uh, this app can be created in a couple of minutes uh, without a lot of coding I think the mode here is that you can use these kind of apps especially like let's say you're a marketer you're something and you want to build internal tools this is one of the fastest way to use these tools and build something internally but I actually want to see if it can do much more than what um, the basic questions could be like I don't want to build another snake game and as you can see here uh, right now at this point we have got the emoticon dictionary so I can enter the name I'll call it coder get the emo of what a skeptical face is it oh random um, this so everything works fine so I can just make the UI change um, it did not um, make any UI change um, the UI looks boring would love a colored gradient view inspired by tailwind or shard cn ui okay i think in terms of the the items it's uh, fine i think i'm happy oh this is the card view oh my goodness um okay so i get the card view so it's my bad like i don't have a lot of good front end experience so it has done the card view so it's updating the ui with colored gradient so update the ui so this is a message that it has sent it to somebody it seems I'm not sure if it is a new feature because I don't remember seeing this before. Um, inspired by Tailwind or Shad CN, and uh, it has just started. I'm going to progress. Okay, maybe it doesn't show in progress. Web UI. There is a Git path. You can see what are the changes that are made. So style CSS index is modified. I don't think it's going to make any change. It seems okay. Nice emoticon dictionary search random get emoticon. I want to just put coder emoticon name skeptical face. This is nice. Um, interesting the background. Okay, let me just change the background. Can we have the background also a gradient um, background? Something modern looking. Okay, so I just wanted to give me a background. I think one bigger difference that you would see between I think something like a replit agent and uh, also cursor is that I think with cursor, like if you know exactly what to do, it's like much, much faster, I would say. I'm not sure if it is because of Claude 3.5 Sonnet, um, the main LLM there. But th this is also, you know, quite an interesting thing. Uh, this is, f if you are a coder, I'm not sure how much of replit agent that you would need. Um, if you can spin up a database, you can spin up a server, you can deploy it. But if you're a marketer, you want to create lead magnets, you're a content creator, you're a freelancer, and you just want like uh, shop, uh, ship one by one. Uh, this is quite amazing. See so, yeah, how you've got this. Search for coder, coder is not there. Search for emoticon, emoticon is there. It's quite interesting. Um, and um, yeah, it, it does everything. So I'm going to just go ahead and then deploy this. Set up your deploy. Um, emoti, emoticon dict. Okay. I'm going to, how do I deploy? Deploy this. So you can have as a background work as well. So I, that is something that I want to explore to see if we can um, write automation. So that is something that we'll definitely explore soon. But for now, um, we have uh, successfully managed to build 
a very simple like a naive lead magnet and uh, we have also man lead magnet uh, i said lead magnet and i have not even added an email option where people can enter email but again this can be used for seo so if you are a marketer this is extremely useful to create an seo and then finally uh, we are deploying it should be done in a couple of seconds then we'll have the we'll have the code and we'll have everything that we want added to our domain and uh, increase the domain authority hope this was helpful to you in using replit agent and shipping multiple lead magnets will create i'm trying to create more business content if you have any suggestion let me know in the comment section otherwise subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy prompting